always say that in our culture that we're just we're caretakers, man. Long after we're gone, this land's gonna be here. Mm. Even if it goes bang and everything freezes or everything goes to fire or whatever, it'll grow again and we'll be long gone and forgotten. You know? And it'll always be here. So at the moment, we're just caretakers, you know, so. My senior elders teach that, um, the trees are breathing for us. And so everything is interconnected and we're all interconnected. So the feeling of loneliness or the feeling of, of isolation is, is an illusion because none of us is disconnected from that matrix of it was really important for me to bring the voices, bring the wisdom of First Nations um, facilitators and leaders to the project because this wisdom holds the notion that we are stewards of this land, we are caretakers of this land. And the way in which we're living now, the way in which we consume, the way in which um, we do our day to day, goes completely against that. So thinking about this from the lens of an artist, I created Seed, Play and Unite and collaborated with an emerging um, POC and queer artist collective here called We Art to bring this vision into fruition. How can we create community spaces for young people to really connect with each other? How can we better connect with ourselves and the land? COVID reminded us to slow down. It reminded us the importance of touch and intimacy. And so coming out of it, how do we bring that intention into our art, into our work, into our daily lives? What do we learn from that and how do we see that manifest? I wanted that through the project, participants learn actual tools that they can use outside of that space to find center, to look inwards and to connect deeper with themselves. do is I'm just gonna pass this little branch around so just take one leaf off the branch these are um, lemon tea tree take the leaf and just bend it crack it and then you're gonna just smell into the essence of this little leaf and just take a moment to perhaps set an intention a dream that you might have, a way that you can connect to country daily, a way that you can maybe give back to those whose land has been taken from them. I really think this is like a freeing and liberating form of art where you can really negotiate every single part of your personality in it. So if you want to be really rough and raw in that, go for it. If you want to be really feminine in that, go for it. If you want to be really light, go for it. Really heavy. If you're sad, just Put it in it. Thank you. 
going to extend our hands towards the center. I have myself. And because I have myself, I can do this. When there wasn't so much madness or sound outside, you could sit in nature and start to hear your heart. So that's why we started to beat the drum. We are recreating the heartbeat. This is why this brings us back to who we are, because it's the first sound that you heard when you had consciousness of this life, the beat of your mother.